don't know. FAD is very uh, underused. I haven't even used it myself. So, very strange gun. Uh, has a weird look to it, but it was one of my favorite guns from the Modern Warfare 2 days. No, Modern Warfare 3 days, excuse me. And um, really, really underrated gun. Really high fire rate, so if you're in those close quarters battles, it's super, super powerful. So, that's probably why he's using it on this map, because like I said, it's close quarters battle. But, regardless, right now looking at the score, 24-15 in favor of Regret. Again, Regret's coming off really strong in the first round of the Domination game. And uh, that's what they need to do. They need to get the, the heavy score lead right away in the beginning. And Zumi's just running back and forth, going crazy, getting the kills he needs to do, and he's capping flags with his teammates right now. They're able to retake the C flag, and they have a player taking the B flag right now. I'm not sure who that is. Is, is it? I don't know who that was. Either way. I'm back. Have... Oh, you're back? Welcome back, yes. Josh. Please Thank save you. me. It is hard. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it really is. I've done it uh, quite a few rounds, but I'm going to go ahead and get kicked off. You said I heard you were watching Zumi, so I'm, I'm going to I jumped on board with him, watch him a little bit, but it looks like this Imperfect is what I is actually going to have two guys on the B flag right now going to be able to utilize, uh, be, going to be able to take that away from this um, this regret squad. I mean, it, it seems like this this game isn't as one, I wouldn't say one sided of everything, but it it just seems like, I mean, both teams are playing a little bit more how I thought they would play in the first game. I mean, right now it's only a nine point game. I mean, Imperfection definitely, definitely doing what they have to do. I mean, both A and B down right now. I mean, keeping this regret squad kind of, kind of neutralizing that B side. I mean, definitely, definitely working for them in my opinion. But I mean, I'm watching Sora right here. Zumi, he was, he was, he was dropping some kills right there, but ended up getting taken out. I don't know who he actually got taken out. Yeah, but they took it out. I believe that was uh, actually, uh, <laughs> I believe that was Tikus that actually took him out. Mm. But I want to jump on board with uh, I want to jump on board with Smiths actually. He just went down, but I want to see what happened, what what he, what he and his team are going to be able, are going to be doing when he finds back out. I mean, it looks like right here, this um this imperfection squad is going to be uh they're going to be going for A or no, they're going to be trying to get to A so that this uh, regret squad doesn't take it. But it looks like they're going to be able to take it. Yeah, it looks like uh, the regret squad has been able to take the A flag, so. Oh no, they're spawn trapped. Regret has the perfect setup right now. For all of you that don't know, this is the perfect setup right now for um, the Regret Squad. Because look at this, EMP is only spawning inside this B flag. So now they're able to completely camp all the way around it. You see Rhino guarding one side, you see Zumi guarding the other doorway. Unfortunately, Frost they did get taken out there guarding the other doorway going towards the C flag. But they had the perfect setup right there. That spawn trap is absolutely nasty. You're able to get so many just easy kills because the players just kind of run out. Like, um, what's a good metaphor for that? Anyways, they're just know. like targets. They're <laughs> like lining, targets lining up for you. Just free kills, basically. But Regret, uh, their setup was broken. So now EMP is coming back into this. And look at the score. 16, it's very 65. close. It's a three-point game right now. And that, yeah. this, this is something that I really thought I would be the first, the first domination team that we watched earlier. But, I mean, it just seems like Regret was able to take round one very easily. And it looks like Imperfection here. No. If Imperfect, if uh, I believe, if Regret gets this, it's tied up right now. If Regret gets this, if they lose this and contest it, this is going to be a, this is going to be a huge momentum changer for the, they will actually, I uh, believe, Regret Squad actually will get that. So they might actually go into, they will be going into round number two in the lead. Unless it's a little bit of a squad. Yes, but a little bit, not too much, not 29 points like we did last, or 23 points like we saw last game. But they will be able to, I mean, look at Rhino. Rhino's 16 going and off, 7. Man. With three captures. With three captures, yes, I that is the most important stat. Is that he has yes. he's double positive and he has three captures. So no, he's not camping in the back of the map like, oh, give me kills, I want to be cool. No, he's there into the heat of the battle. I got killed he is by there, the all the kills he needs, the and he's capping his flags. So like, good right, for the final score there. That was uh, oh, eighty-one to seventy-five. All right, that's not that's not a bad game. That's a twelve-point game right there. I mean, like I said last game, last last domination, we actually had a twenty-three-point game. Yeah, you're right. That's, that's only one. Well, they already forgot the second score. That's eleven point. That's eleven point difference right here. Eighty-nine to seventy. No, eighty-one to seventy-nine. No. I thought it was 80, 81 to 75? No, that's only six points. I'm completely out of it. I'm to 75. <laughs> My math is obviously not here. <laughs> Favor. If you hold that front. Mm -hmm. You gotta get yes. better at this, man. I gotta we keep do. the notepad. Like I said, keep it Well, I mean, I had the notepad up, but I pushed the wrong button. <laughs> that was my fault. I apologize. I apologize. We're good. But We're still, good. guys, we, we know that Regret is winning by six points right here. So if this imperf Imperfection Squad can't get these six points, I mean, 
that's going to be huge for this request card. Going to be up three to one in this game. So, I mean, how do you how do you feel about that, Tim? Uh, three one is a pretty substantial lead, especially in a best of seven where you have to win four maps to win the yeah. game. So three to one is really really hard to come back. You're kind of demoralized because uh, you know you're you're losing. You have to win f three straight maps to win and not drop a single map. So. EMP is really going to have to come out here on the second side. And like you said, they're only down by six points. Yes. Six points is really, really easy to come back from. It's, yes. it's holding two flags for seven more, no, eight, eight more points. <laughs> a couple more seconds. The other person. You know, like it's a, you get points every five seconds, I believe, in domination. So they're going to have to hold those flags for a few more seconds than everyone else. And uh, I mean, I think they're able to do it, man. They, they have the motivation. They really want to win this game. They really don't want to go down. They really do, more. yes. So, I mean, I as see. you saw from that Blitz game, I mean, they they snuck that last little that last little score in. Mm -hmm. Definitely, Absolutely. definitely wanted that, you know. I mean, they, they they do want this win, and I mean, I'm right now I'm watching Rhino. Uh, definitely, I mean, going down pretty early in the game, but I mean, I mean, like I said, it's still early, right? I mean, that's so yeah. much you can do. But it looks like this Imperfection Squad. I want to go ahead and jump on board with. It. I want to go. I want to jump on board with Highlight right now. As this imperfection squad has both the C and B flag, right now. they're they're already in control of this game. So I mean that's a huge, a huge momentum pusher for this imperfection squad. But if this, however, if this uh, regret team gets it, I mean, it looks like they will be getting it actually, or at least yes, they will be getting it. I mean, how do you think that's going to play into this uh, this game? Having that early. Uh. Again, regret they did go into the second half with the lead, and they're just they seem to be the smarter domination team. They have players covering every single one of their angles, they know where the team is, the other team is spawning, so they have a little bit of an understanding of the spawning system, and that's always important. Learning spawns is so important in this game. You can always tell in CTF and Black Ops 2, spawn trapping and spawn camping was so popular, especially in league play. I freaking hate it when that happened, but <laughs> then, regardless, then everybody, man. <laughs> everybody I mean, hated it. I mean, as but, you can see right here, I mean, regret just took the lead again. I mean, even though it's only a two-point lead right here, they still took the lead. Um, it just seems like, as you said, I mean, these guys are... These guys are definitely... I mean, this Regret Squad is actually... It, it just seems like they're the stronger combination squad. And it doesn't really seem like Imperfection's actually understanding that. I mean, they're trying, trying to push one guy into... I mean, as you can see right there, push one guy into B, or push one guy into uh, the A side and have like everybody scattered. It doesn't like they're really utilizing teamwork, which is a huge thing, especially for um, domination at that. Because if you have everybody, you know, all over the map and all of them get killed, and you have at least one or two guys watching one area, I mean, you could have this regret squad take C, and then where's where's that going to leave the inspector? Mm -hmm. No, exactly. If you, if, like I said before, the spawn trap and the B spawn is so important. You have to like strategize to that. You have to have two players pushing the B, or two players to push around the spawns to push them into the B spawn, and then, like, I don't know, I don't know what I'm getting at, but you have to push. <laughs> you have to push out as a team to cap those flags because um, when you're solo and you're trying to cap that flag, it takes forever. And having that extra player to cover your back, yes. whether they get kills or to just hold the flag with you to cap it faster, is so so important. I mean, look right here. If you look at the imperfection stats right now, I mean. Pika stopping eight kills with two caps, Smits five kills and two caps, and then Gunner with five kills and one cap. I mean, they have five caps right there, and Regret only has three. Mm -hmm. so, I mean, they are playing smarter this round, but it does it just doesn't seem like they're really holding it. As you can see, I mean, right here, Zumi actually just got another cap right there on, I believe that was the A flag, and now there it is. Imperfection might end up getting spawn trapped right here. As you were saying earlier, the B the B area is a terrible place, you know, to be spawn trapped at because it's so easy to do it. It's such a great setup for the opposing team. I mean, they basically, like I was saying earlier, they basically gave the enemy team the other flag mm -hmm. and just let them have B. I mean, right here, it's an 11 point, almost 12 point game. So that that's definitely going to be a huge momentum changer for this regret squad. I mean, they're if they keep this up, they're they're going into you know the next game three and one. Yeah, exactly. It's just. It's uh, again, Rhino. Wow, I keep looking at his score and he keeps surprising me each round. Like 13, yes. eight, he's killing it, and he's playing defensive too. So this round he is camping a little bit, but for good reason because he wants to win this game. He wants to go into this next round in a three to one favor, and I don't get yes. him. And this is a show match. He's not. He's not. He wants to play to win. 
he's not playing just to figure out game modes. He's playing to win. I'm yes. sure he's camping per se, but sometimes that's important. Sometimes you need to do that. I mean, right now we got problem going for the B flag, and then we have two guys from uh, Imperfection going for this D flag. One of them just went down, but the other one might get taken down. He will get taken out. So, I mean, you have two of the Imperfection squad members going for the C flag right now, and looks like regret. They did get the B flag, but they're not going to be able to capitalize and get the C flag back. I mean, this Imperfection squad really is trying. I mean, it's a little late in the game, honestly, but they it's are awesome trying. Message. Yeah, exactly. I mean, they're not giving right now, it's it's twenty. It's a twenty-one point difference right now. I mean. With 12 seconds, it's impossible to come back from. So, I mean, this is going to go to Regret. I mean, Regret's going to be able to go into the next game 3-1. to one. But, I mean, it's some Perfection Squad. I mean, they they definitely start coming back a little bit later in the game, which, I mean, if this was, like, Blitz or something, that would, I mean, that would probably be a, a better thing. But in Domination, it's so hard to come back, especially being this late in the game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that was a 26-point win right there from uh, the Regret Squad. And, uh... It was a little bit different than the last game. The first domination game, they had a solid first round, definitely got their lead going, and then they kind of tapered off in the second round. But this one, they held strong. They um, they made sure they were covering their angles, doing everything they can to win the game. And like I said, camping, technically, but they won. It, I don't care. <laughs> I don't think they I mean, care either. They really don't. I mean, look at Rhino dropping that 15 and 10. I mean, mm -hmm. if you look at the stats right here, but look at Imperfection stats. 11-12 with four caps. 12-11 with two caps and Gunner going 7-16 and 16, but with three caps. I mean, as you were saying earlier, the caps are the important part. Even though this Imperfection Squad lost, they were still throwing down big cap numbers. And that yeah. was a huge. I mean, uh, I mean, look at look at the, look at at how many caps Imperfection had over how many caps Regret had. Yeah. And then the score difference. That's incredible. Regret yeah. was able to maintain the flags that they had over yeah. Having to continuously cap, which was a exactly. huge thing, huge loss for this Imperfection squad. I mean, they they still did amazing. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I honestly would have been like two, uh, would, like 250 to zero. Honestly, I'm terrible at this game. That's why I cast everybody. So if you ever want GB, not me. <laughs> but, uh, how, how do you feel about that one, John? Because I remember you saying that this Imperfection squad. I mean, they're kind of they're kind of surprising you. Yeah, uh, you know that was a close one. It was a little bit more close than uh, than the first domination, obviously. That's but true. Uh, it, it's getting shaky. They're coming down to their last map to keep things alive. So three one right now, going into this best of seven. Uh, you know, regret up, unfortunately, you know, not unfortunately, but up three one right now on EMP. Uh, so it's not looking really good for them. I'm hoping they can put together. It looks like it's going to be a search and destroy uh, game mode. But guys, make sure you're tweeting out the stream. We are here late show matches featuring two amateur teams <laughs> and two great casters make sure you guys are showing these guys some support and uh, I'm drinking honey badger right now to keep me awake we're going to be giving some of this stuff away at the end of the show so make sure you guys are tuning in and sticking around as we like to have some fun with that uh, yes. here on perfect that is true. you know I just I can I grab the mic for a second here oh man you could grab it all you want we have 79 viewers right now it's 1220 EST in the morning this is our first show match in like a two month hiatus. We hit, we peaked at 100 viewers. I saw 100. 100. Like, I don't understand. You guys are amazing. I don't understand. Like, you all waited two months for us and we're like, hey, PA's on board. Let's go. Let's go watch them. Like, that is hey, absolutely astounding. Like, I even before I'm we started, away. even before we started, we had 30 viewers. Like, exactly. we just had, we just like, like the first five seconds of the stream that's what i'm talking about i mean john repping his you know perfect alliance shirt but i mean we just started 30 uh five seconds into the stream had 30 something viewers and that that was that was amazing i mean especially for me i mean i don't i'm not used to these big numbers stream number i mean stream viewers but i mean i'm still i'm still holding my own not gonna lie i'm still holding my own no it, this is it's it's amazing it's, <laughs> there we go host end of the round yeah host end of the round <laughs> but it means so much to us that like these guys all come out and support us. It's always the same people too that come out and support us, and you you always know those names. You guys know who you are. You've been here with us for a long, long time. Oh yeah. And uh, it just it means so much that you guys are constantly coming back, constantly supporting us, and always saying nice things. There's never a lot of hate in the chat. Every so often there is some hate, and that's understandable because yes, sometimes I do suck. Yeah, <laughs> I and understand that. Uh, we, we, like you said, we get a lot of people that are coming into uh, into our streams. A lot of familiar faces. Uh, just to toss them out there, Coda was in here. 
uh, UMG Shiner was in the chat supporting us. He's usually in here supporting us as well. Uh, so do we appreciate all the support from all angles, guys. I get a lot of questions about wristbands. Uh,